Most people in America are familiar with how people do their medical rights. People's medical rights relate to the individual's total and sole right to decide who their medical practitioners are going to be. We do this by evaluating people. We evaluate people by reviewing their medical practices. Some practices as a part of the IUPUI network actually offer as a part of their physician's network the right of someone to come in to talk to them for a free consultation. I was invited by a white land physician, I think that was the area of Zionsville that I had to go to, to talk to a doctor that alluded and presumed and suggested that he be willing to help maintain my perfect medical health that I had been handling for more than 20 years without any problems. Unfortunately, a previous doctor and I got it at odds with each other because of how he was handling in his front room our medical records without no secretary there. It meant they were up there for anyone who walked in, even a UPS man could have done it, to open our folders and look them over. I didn't like that. He was located in a part of a more eclectic area, an arts district of Indianapolis. I don't remember his name fully at this time, David something. What I also remember was he got a new staff person as some sort of a assistant in terms of a nurse practitioner or certified CNA or whatnot. I can't remember. And she was someone who actually worked more full time for the fire department in their call center. And I barely remember that just based on a visual of a person that I recently have seen. But at some point he told me that he could not serve me any further because I expressed a concern over the sanctity and safety of our medical rectors in his small practice. As a patient and as a consumer rights advocate at most of my life, encouraged by my late father who was very bad at handling when he was upset in places, I learned how to do that a little bit more diplomatically. But in truth, my life has been changed almost since that time of meeting that woman who worked allegedly for the fire department and that particular physician. What we do know in the malfeasance of the world is that some practitioners change their mind about helping people and other practitioners sometimes lie to people about the willingness to help, which is precisely what I found when I experienced Eskenazi in Indianapolis as a major, huge, mega million dollar building and corporation of medical, well, supposedly, facilitation of good health. I don't like how they've handled this particular condition and the group of, of uh, programs that they've associated my condition with, of here, and not here to autism, but ultimately all kinds of things that would be in that department. And at this time, I really feel that the Hispanic person that I got briefly reviewed by for simply the maintenance of my life, which is a simple one shot once a month, it's not really hard to do, totally abated his job totally practice malpractice, totally practice malfeasance, and openly should be completely shot. And if not shot, because my life went to hell after that, literally absolutely obliterated after visiting the IEPY physician who had alluded that he had a Catholic uh, partner who was female, but at the same time, maybe it was his girls in his front office that used the continuity of care to gossip and abuse my life. It's hard to say when you're doing a mystery of a who done it and a, an investigative reported condition of situation in which you're saying, look, motherfucker, this is my life. How dare you interrupt my entire lifetime because you don't agree with my medical health practices. It is not your job to do that. It's not your job to share my information. It's not your job to gossip beyond HIPAA laws. And at this point, I may end up suing you for just that.